Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your mid-July. Um, so I remember the monthly reading. I mentioned that your partner is dealing with some things. Okay, and um, I told you to, I, I remember I told you to be very supportive, but at the same time, to be very expressive about what this person means to you. So I feel like a lot of the times, you know, you, you feel things. You either love somebody or you hate somebody. And uh, when you love them, you, you do physical things to, to make sure that, you know, they're taken care of, right? So you are very thoughtful. But I feel like the person you're dealing with, they need these uh, verbal expressions of commitment, verbal expressions of love and appreciation. And I feel like a lot of you have done that. And I feel like your relationships are kind of like... Uh, on track once again okay so I feel this major big burden sort of lifted off your chest and I feel like for a lot of you it could be your relationship partner who's um who's getting their confidence restored and then for others I feel like in the process of expressing yourself you know allowing yourself to feel vulnerable, allowing yourself to, you know, say your deepest, darkest desires and to really express what the other person means to you. It's a, an unburdening process and it's really making you feel quite good to be able to trust somebody enough so that you are allowing yourself to also be very, very vulnerable. So I feel like this is a, a major big transition happening for you this month. It calls for more sensitivity and it calls for more, you know, emotional expression, which I feel many of you have done. So I'm really glad to see that. Um, so the energy is very, very light, is really buoyant. And I feel like on a vibrational level, you're definitely progressing when it comes to your emotional development and your ability to give yourself uh, without holding back to your partner, which is really good. I'm happy to see that. Um, in the work front as well, um, there's a lot of like uh, things finalizing. So I feel like, you know, if you're working on a project basis, there's a lot of like presentations I'm seeing and there's a lot of like, you know, wrapping up loose ends, um, finalizing contracts. So that means I feel like you're on the tail end of finishing things up, wrapping things up, wrapping things up and then moving on. So I feel like, you know, the money's coming in for those that need to get paid for the services that you've rendered. And then I feel like settlements and things like that coming through too. If it's um, if you're like getting paid um, on a uh, commission basis, on a contract basis, or even on a consultancy basis. If things have been held up, things are clearing up for you guys. And so I feel like, you know, a lot of projects are coming to an end. There isn't any more squabbles and, you know, disagreements. Things are going really well and communication is um, flowing really well between you and the people that you're interacting with, working with. So I feel like there is like a, a, a closing uh, party, like a closeout party. So if you uh, put an offer on a house, for example, I feel like there is um, there's a closing party. If you've finish up a project. I feel like there's a closing party. There's like that consummation of everything and, um, and, and the energy of, you know, okay, done with that. Now we're looking at other options and we're looking at, you know, moving forward. So I feel for some of you, there's like, um, I'm seeing money divided between, you know, a few people. So that could be legal situations clearing up, uh, legal issues finalizing, um, divorce settlements, for example, and everyone is like, you know, going their separate ways. And then for others, housing situation, closing on a house and, and paying, you know, your respective fees or even commission fees as well. So everyone is getting their fair share and everyone is moving forward. So I feel like a lot of projects are then, you know, starting to flow in for you. So you're finishing some things up, you're wrapping up that aspect, and it allows for you to look at other options. So I'm feeling, you know, if you're a contractor, if you are a consultant, if you're working on, <coughs> excuse me, client commission basis, there is a lot more flooding in, okay? And so you're going to find yourself quite busy. I feel like the 23rd came out strongly. So let me see. The 23rd comes out very strongly where you're going to have like um, more clients that you're taking on or you're going to be able to you're going to be able to um, get a lot new 
projects started okay and so i see you you know looking at different things and figuring out like okay do i want that or do i want that so you're you're like cherry picking and you're in a position where you're in high demand so you can afford to say no to some people that you don't want to work with and then you can also afford to you know decline certain offers as well when it comes to like hey there's a speaking engagement here there's a teaching gig here there is a seminar here do you want to run it or do you want to you know man the project and you're in a position where you definitely can pick and choose so the i feel like the past three months for you guys there has been a lot of like start stop start stop and it, it was like a little bit aggravating okay and you're smart enough where you know to switch gears where things are kind of like at a, at a low you know how to distract yourself with other things so you're very very good at not getting yourself frustrated with other people with red tapes with uh, stoppage or with blockages you shift gears and you change priorities into something else or you distract yourself with something else so you're very good at compartmentalizing and so I feel like the past three months has been a major major kind of like self-awareness um, in a good way and it's also a major um, a major test of your capabilities and also <clears throat> it um, it allowed you to see this is not the type of person that I want to be with or work with. These are the types of people I want to be with and work with. And so the last three months is setting you up now for this present moment in time where you have a lot of options and you're, you know what hasn't worked in the past and you know to do something differently. So I feel like for singles especially, you know the types of people you need to avoid, even though it can be very passionate, very exciting. You want something a lot more stable and you want something more compatible. So you're shifting gears and shifting the types of people, <coughs> excuse me, into, you're shifting into like, you know, the right types of people that are more conducive for stability. And then for others, the same energy applies in your work environment, okay? You're just like, this is not going to work. This vendor is problematic or this client is problematic. So I'm going to go with another option. <coughs> My apologies. I don't know why I'm coughing so much in this reading. So it's sort of like taking away what we've learned from the past and not being duped into the same or similar circumstances, okay? So that's really good for you. You're avoiding some potential pitfalls. And I feel like a lot of this is coming through from, you know, um, from, from things that you've experienced in the past and you're vowing to yourself, like, it's not going to happen again. I'm not going to put myself in that situation to let these things happen again. So uh, there's a lot of just uh, finality and a lot of clarity coming through for you guys. Um, what I'm also sensing as well is, um, you, I, so it, it feels to me like there was some financial hangups and it involves legal issues, okay? divorce settlements or even like some financial situation where i feel like a chunk of your money is is gone okay so it could be like child support alimony um some type of compensation um and i i feel like for example if you're selling property or getting rid of you know a car for example a, a huge chunk of your money is gone and they're saying, uh, do not fret over it, okay? When it comes to legal issues, we need to abide by, you know, the legality of it. So, for example, if you, you need to pay out some money, do it. By October, the money is going to start coming in for you again. Money is money, okay? It's, um, it's a means to an end, and you're going to build it back up. You're going to build up your empire. You're going to build up your wealth. And it takes three months. So, by October you're going to be on the upswing again financially. So don't worry about it. Okay. Things will be okay. Um, I'm feeling for, for many of you, this, uh, outpouring of love to another person. And I'm, I'm really glad to see that for you guys. Um, Scorpios mainly because you know, like, um, a lot of the times, and I'm just going to say this, um, don't, I don't mean any offense by it, <clears throat> but I, I just feel like you you do a lot of things in a very subtle way and you also um you you also keep a lot of your feelings hidden even when you love somebody even when you trust somebody you don't you're not a gushy type of a sign you're not a you know 
you're you're not like a sentimental type of a sign even though deep down you feel all of these things it embarrasses you to express yourself and so i see this outpouring of love that you have for another person and um I, i'm feeling like that is a really really good thing to do because when you're able to be vulnerable it means that you trust the other person and it also means that you don't care you just want the other person to know and so I feel like for some of you this might be a last ditch attempt to save a relationship but it's gonna work because it's sincere so I apologize for the dogs I'm, I'm sorry I don't know what's going on with your reading but um anyways this outpouring of love this gesture this honesty with you and another person it's really therapeutic it's going to be really healing for you too because i can't imagine if you're feeling so much but you're not for whatever reason expressing it it must be really frustrating right like to to live that way and so you know maybe the 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 sun here is in the constellation of cancer it makes our emotions easier to express and it also makes us feel a little bit more safe and we are also yearning for emotional security as well with other people we want to know where we stand with other people so i feel like that might have been the catalyst for you to really open up yourself and you know to show the other person uh not only show but to tell the other person uh how you feel so i feel like a hev very heavy air sign aquarius gemini and libra and i also feel a very very heavy uh fire sign energy here um, so that is Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. So that's their sun, moon, arising, air signs, and fire sign. And um, this is a really good step for you, um, Scorpios, for your soul's evolution, for your emotional development, okay? And I feel like you're going to feel very happy um, being able to unburden this, okay? It's, it's like the weight lifted off your chest. It's going to feel really good. So I'm really happy to see that for you. Um, I'll be back for the mid-month, uh, I'm sorry, for the August reading. I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.